In this lesson, we're going to learn how to manipulate the work plane itself. The work plane is the space that we bring shapes into. In fact, though, we can move the work plane around. If you bring in a box, you can manipulate the work plane to be added to any side so that as you bring in more shapes, it can go along any different surface of a shape that you've already brought in. So let's see how that works. Here I am with the remnants of our last lesson where we were stretching out some different shapes and getting them to be very specific measurements. Um, we have this one is 125, this one is 125, and this one is 125. We have all those very specific measurements on there and we had them sort of lined up. But we don't need these anymore for this lesson, so again I'm going to select all of them and get rid of everything to clear the work plane. What I'd like you to do for today's lesson is to get yourself back up to our simple box. We're going to bring in just a box. Um, you can scale this and manipulate it if you want to. I might scale it to go up a little bit bigger. So uniformly scaling it, I'm going to press the shift button and I'm going to drag out one of the corners just to make this a little bit bigger so that we can begin to add things to it. Okay, so here's the deal. We want to take this work plane and change it so that I can add things to other surfaces on this box. As it stands right now with the work plane right where it is, if I drag in a cylinder, it's going to go down onto the work plane just like it is. And if I wanted to manipulate it and put it here, somehow dealing with this box that I have, all it's going to do is go to the surface that I have, which is this work plane. So let's get rid of that shape and see how to move the work plane. Right in the top right corner here, we have a work plane button. When I click on the work plane button and I drag this in, you'll notice that it's going to show up on the different faces that I have here. So I can right click and orbit around and the work plane will bring it around. I'm going to orbit and you can see that the work plane is moving to whatever side that I want it to go. So let's say that I want it on this face right here. I'm going to click. And now as we orbit around, you'll notice that the work plane is now vertically up. And now when I begin to drag things in, that is the surface that those things will be added to. Okay, so let's change it again. Let's bring the work plane back to a different face. So I click on the work plane button. I'm going to bring it right here, and let's add a shape to the top. Okay, what's nice about this as you go through is it gives you this little blue outline that tells you where the bottom actually is, where you started from. Um, but the work plane changes to orange when you move it around. And we've got it there, so let's drag in another shape. Let's give this thing a roof. We can scale it to make it reach out to the corners here. So let's get it to the corner there. Let's bring it out to the corner here. Nice roof added onto our box. Uh, let's change the work plane and bring it somewhere else. Click on the work plane. Let's add something to this face. Go ahead and pick out a different shape, whatever shape you want to do. Maybe we can do the text on this side. There's the text, and it is absolutely enormous. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's just put uh, this symbol in a three, like it's love. OK, so we have something to that face there. Let's change the work plane again. Let's add the work plane over here. And let's add something there. Let's grab a sphere and add it right on the surface there. That's, it is joined, it is merged, but it is hanging off of the side there. And then let's add one more thing here. We'll put the work plane on this surface now. Again, scaling around, orbiting around the shape, we can see where the work plane originally was with this blue highlight and where the work plane is now. It's on this back face and that means that we can add something to it. Let's take this wedge. And there we go. So in order to complete this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the work plane and add it right back to the bottom, right where it should be. And now you can see this lesson is completed. We have added one shape to every face except for the bottom of our cube. And that's it for today's lesson. We were looking at ways to manipulate the work plane to be able to add it to different faces of an object that we are working on.